What can you do today to help you through the process of maintaining your cardiovascular health as your hormones are transitioning? Because although, yes, we have to replenish those hormones, we can also do a lot on our day-to-day -to, -day to support our body so our cardiovascular health remains healthy. Number one, strength training. I'm pretty sure that a lot of you have seen there is a lot of influencers on social media talking about um, lifting and the importance of muscle building and the creatine use and using protein powders and all those things to build up muscle. During menopause, the muscle goes down dramatically. So the, when we talk about strength training at least twice a week, muscle is medicine for perimenopause. Number two, prioritize your sleep. Your autonomic nervous system resets at night. Number three, eat for your endothelial health. Omega-3s that can come from your fatty fishes. If you're not vegetarian, then that'll be your um, salmon, tuna, mackerel, sardines. Um, you can also get an omega-3 supplementation. If you are vegetarian, you can get an omega-3 from algae, which is super rich in omega-3.